boxandvoice.com. Sean Zatel here with the great Dougie Fisher. Oh, one, stop it. <laughs> one of the one of the sages, the wise men in boxing. Is, has it has it come to that? I think so. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> the old, am, am, I, am, I, am I officially part of the old guard? I don't know. I don't, I don't want to. Am I a veteran? Am I a faded veteran? You are? No, not a faded okay. veteran. Faded, okay. No, no, veteran. No. All right. You, you, That's cool. You're one of the champs. Though. Oh, we were just talking about stories. I was telling you Mayweather stories or whatever, and I'm like, wow, set, that was 17 years ago or 20 years ago when I'm, you know, the, the tales that I was uh, weaving. So. There's no way anyway. you could tell us that story real quick, can you? No, I mean, uh, no, just that, yeah, you were asking me, what, what was your initial question to me? Uh, about Mayweather, was it? I yeah. Asked, I asked, did you guys ever have, because everyone knows, yeah. uh, you know, did you guys Something ever have personal. a run-in? Yeah. No, and I don't really think so, but there, there, was, there was one time before his fight with uh, Emmanuel Burton uh, in Detroit uh, in October of 2000 um, at the weigh-in. Uh, I guess we got into some kind of shouting match, but it was weird. It was bizarre. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't. It wasn't personal to me. You know what I mean? But uh, no, not really. You know, like I said, it was. Uh, it's never been anything personal. And I think we were also talking about how fans can piss people off. Um, and, and and so I was saying that uh, Mayweather fans irk me more than Mayweather himself. And the same thing with Guillermo Rigondeaux fans or the fans of certain boxers or certain styles that. Had this no tolerance, like you, you, you can't say a fighter or a fight is boring. You know, it means it. Yeah, you know, in their eyes, that you don't appreciate boxing, which I just I don't think is true. I, I love boxers. I love all styles. I like boxer versus boxer matchups, um, but it has to be the right type of boxing styles that come together. Um, and and my you know two favorite examples of boxer versus boxer, where I was totally uh, entertained is uh, James Tony, Mike McCallum, uh, their first two fights, and um, Marco Antonio Barrera against Juan Manuel Marquez. I view that as boxer versus boxer. Right, right. You watch that fight, it was at Junior Lightweight. Um, we got Junior Lightweights uh, that are gonna, they're, they're gonna be showing different type of style, not the sweet science, but the savage science, but there's craft with those guys, with Salito and Roman. Those type of high volume pressure fighters, they have uh, they have very good inside technique to to last as long as these guys have to fight as many rounds as many professional contests and, and still be here. I mean, Orlando Salido turned pro in 1996. It's amazing that he's still around, still competing on the world class level. That comes with some craft, uh, and and some of it is actually defense, believe it or not. You know, he just doesn't wait in there to get hit. There's a bob and weave to his pressure. So I appreciate those guys and, and I appreciate guys like Vasil Lomachenko and, and Guillermo Rigondeaux, speaking of uh, junior lightweight title fights. Um, I just don't know if that fight's going to mesh out well.